Y'all smell that? I know you guys smell that. Wait, it's not me. No wonder you clicked on this video. I'm playing. I just wanted to get your attention. Um, as you guys know, I'm going to be showing my hygiene routine, and maybe you guys can learn something from this video. A little disclaimer before we go: I am not a professional nor am i licensed to give you guys advice so i'm just giving you guys stuff that i use that works so this video is going to be my hygiene routine and i'm also going to give you guys tips on how to smell good tips on how to level up your skincare like level up taking care of you going all in 2024 smelling good looking good feeling good body good my name is dior j you can find me on all social media platforms I know growing up, we got taught to shower, lotion, but like as females, we didn't really get taught like the serious, deep hygiene care. Hygiene care isn't just showering. It's not just that, like it's way more deeper than that because not just taking care of outside of your body, but taking care of everything else is really important. Over the years, I have picked up a lot of information, learned from experience, learned from using products, learning what was working best for me. But that's not what I really want to tell y'all. Taking care of yourself, it's not just, uh, of course, it's a must. I mean, of course, you're supposed to take care of yourself. Not just the basics, you guys. Your body needs more attention than you think it does. What you put in your body and what you use on your body is a lot more effective than you guys think. That's why I'm going to go ahead and explain it in this video and show you guys what I also use to help with that. Touch on skincare first and show you guys what I use for my skin. If your acne is really bad, like say you got really bad acne and you've tried everything, I would suggest seeking a dermatologist to really test your skin type and find out what really works best for you so they could give you a prescription or maybe go on Accutane, I don't know. But um, I'm going to give you a backstory on my skin up close i don't know if you guys can see i do have freckles but um my mom she has good genetics when it comes to skin so i was fortunate enough to get her genes my dad had really bad acne when he was younger but like i didn't get that which i'm super grateful for i've been 18 years with no acne problems no i'll get a pimple here and there but like full-on acne problems so yeah i've had clear skin since i've been birthed so i'm just gonna give you guys a brief of what i use and it's also effective and the cleanser that i use is la roche pose i've not learned how to say it yet this is what i use to cleanse both day and night I really just started doing this yesterday i mean last night so i don't know if it really works so i picked up the witch hazel in walmart yesterday saying that i'm finally gonna try it I found out that after you cleanse your face, you use a cotton pad and like just put it on your face. So it's kind of a double cleanse. I don't know. It gets all the excess dirt. And you could also use it for your underarms. And like people talking about this is also good for body odor. I'm not going to say your hoo-ha, the other one, if you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't want YouTube to... And y'all, call me delusional, but I don't you're thinking that like, oh my god, it's already working. But I don't know if you guys can see, I have a little breakout, like just a little breakouts, like tiny breakouts on my skin because I'm on my period. But yeah, I'd also say that I only get pimples when I'm on my period or like from hair products or from gel. In the night, I'll use my CeraVe moisturizer. I use any moisturizer, <laughs> but like CeraVe is a really good one. Side note, you gotta have a morning skincare routine and a night skincare routine. It's more effective that way. In the morning, I like to go in with my Eucerin sunscreen. I don't know why, like, let me see. Ugh. Like, this is not focusing, guys. Oh no, my thing died trying to get the camera to focus i use a eucerin in the morning it's also a sunscreen you guys it is absolutely amazing um what's her name treasure laurent i follow her and i saw her that she recommended this i was like you know i'm gonna try it out it literally works as a moisturizer and a sunscreen i'm over here giving these people a free promo like all these products in this video like is getting a free promo guys you need to wear sunscreen whether you are black brown white light skin i do not care you need to wear sunscreen y'all know you could get skin cancer from the sun right 
okay after you moisturize put that sunscreen on okay that's like a two-in-one like you get moisturizer and you get sunscreen and it's sp50 what more could i ask for guys i also forgot to mention aquaphora i've always mentioned these in my videos yeah whenever my nose like here starts to strip this this heals it instantly and then this is what i keep to have my lips looking nice and moisturized not cracked also use it for your skin i don't i don't use it for my skin i use it for my lips and like the cracks on my nose because it works really good keep one of these on clutch y'all keep one of these on clutch i'm telling you i'm going out somewhere and i'm looking cute and then there's i'm on my period and there's like this pimple on my face covers it and it takes care of it in the meantime so why not make sure y'all have some sort of pimple patch that works good on deck just in case a pimple decides to ruin your day i want to jump right into smell goods i think i'm gonna call this smell goods because are your signature scent like finding your signature scent i'm telling you guys this took me a little while i'm not gonna lie i wanted to have a scent that people remember <laughs> or like a whoosh i smell myself like i want to smell myself and i smell good like, guys finding your signature scent is super duper duper important i'm telling you people will literally remember you by it like when they see you again and they literally don't remember you but that scent will let them remember you i'm joking but like finding your signature scent even if you're on a budget this is fun i hope the girlies that's on a budget because all what i just showed you they are affordable find you a good lotion like a good lotion eos comes in clutch and guys i think this is like eight dollars or six dollars i don't even know but this right here super affordable smell good don't just pick up random scents that just when they tie in together they smell like really heavy or too strong like find those scents that ties in together if you get what i'm saying so for one of my i like to use the eos pomegranate raspberry i usually use the cashmere vanilla if that's what it's called i usually use the purple one i think it's vanilla or something vanilla cashmere i don't even remember to kind of spend a little money on a good perfume that's gonna last but i'm gonna give y'all a little trick to make that last perfume i've learned this perfume is not meant to do this let me show you it's not meant to all over your body babes uh-uh i need you to stop that if you're doing that please stop that like i literally learned this from i think maya graves i think that's her channel I learned this. I learned this from my girls. Oh, y'all, I'm giving credit. I'm not over here saying, like, I just, you know. I learned that where your body produce sweat or release odor, like, you guys ever smell your armpit? And remember, like, y'all could go wash your. I don't remember exactly what it says, but there's like specific areas where you spray your perfume, not body spray perfume on your body i like to add you guys could get this all over vaseline body balm and you could use it you could use regular vaseline and i would put the vaseline right here i'm telling y'all this helps it stays on all day get your money worth this is an expensive perfume. I was I wanted to tell you guys to also invest in a good perfume, guys. Invest in a good perfume. I'm telling you, it will pay off. I put put some right here. And then I also put it over here and in here, here, in the back of here. And I know after I put it on there. I like to, I like to spray the perfume spray the perfume boom already smelling amazing and guess what guys it helps it stays on all day i'm telling you it's literally from walmart this is literally from walmart i'm telling you this is affordable i got when i usually work at wendy's i'll wear this exact perfume to work because i'm like like i'm not wearing my expensive perfume to work heck no um i have this right here that i use and before i go to work i'll just like spray it on my body and when i tell you
inhaled and taste this freaking guys everybody would say oh my god you smell so amazing where did you get that perfume from and i'll literally tell them i got it from walmart i literally got the perfume from walmart don't sleep on walmart perfume i'm saying you don't sleep on body collage perfumes I in what i was gonna say get a similar body spray this is a fragrance mist so after you spray that expensive perfume or whatever perfume on your body you finish it off with a body spray for your clothes and you want your clothes to smell nice all day you finish off with a body spray and boom the whole and also y'all do not spray perfume in your hair get a specific perfume mist that was created for hair because perfume dries out your hair do not do it okay get a perfume that is designed for hair don't i'm telling you it works for the moment but it disappeared in the year what i just showed you helps you stay smelling good all day i'm a factor for that because i literally witnessed it happen because i did that and people were asking me oh my god you smell good like thank you like saying you smell good is like so much better than saying oh my god you're so pretty like and yeah that's my tips on smelling good so i want to move on to shower care or what i use in the shower y'all be so embarrassed i need to i'm literally gonna upgrade my hygiene video i'm literally gonna upgrade my hygiene care after this video i promise y'all like i feel like oh. i'm lacking in certain areas especially for the shower guys <laughs> just it's my niece um so i know y'all say dr browner's is overhyped but y'all i have people who have used this and oh my god it smells really good and after oh. y'all i'll be keep in mind i was in jamaica and after i shower in jamaica i don't wear any deodorant going to bed because after i shower with it and then i'm lying in the bed i literally smell this while i'm lying in the bed like oh my god i smell really good and then i'll my arm like i don't have any deodorant on and my arm smells really refreshing thank you thank you they did not pay me to do this but y'all need to get this and now i'm gonna talk about right there i'm gonna give y'all some tips to help out with keeping down there fresh and nice your hoo-ha is not supposed to smell like cupcake and rainbows we have a open organ that is a part of our body just like our armpits but guys yes it self cleans but it also needs help from you to take care of it and first before i show you products what you're eating and what you're putting in your body really can affect your hua smell and i'm saying be careful what you put in your body it can throw off your ph balance and also putting those stuff in your body can also make your skin look horrible so be mindful of that be mindful of the foods you eat because it can mess up your ph balance so bad and you're like but i'm doing all of this i'm using all these products but they're not working are you checking what you're eating no so i use this to wash down there and guys it is literally six dollars six dollars and it works wonders it is so good and i use a washcloth and for the dr browners i use a shower poofa if you're a girly that loves to shave and don't wax i really want to start waxing i really do but anyway i recommend this y'all the venus two-in-one cleanser plus shave gel y'all hear that two-in-one cleanser cleanser it has no sense plus shave gel that's how you know it's good want to move on to oral care when i say oral care i'm talking about your mouth if you're not familiar y'all y'all ever got that one person not calling out no names or anything just saying or you're ever in a room or you're at church and stuff you do not want to be the person you do not want to be the person in the room that has 
bad breath you don't want to be the friend that when you walk away you get talked about because your mouth stinks i'm so tired i preach on this a lot please 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 be mindful because when my mouth stings say i work, wake up in the morning for instance and my breath stinks i smell it instantly there's no way these people are out here with stink breath and not aware i'm aware if my mouth stinks oral care is super important get a good toothbrush make sure you floss i'm gonna start flossing i'm telling you this make sure you floss make sure you floss okay and i know i'm probably gonna get bashed for this y'all i don't care i'm not saying it works but i do feel my mouth does feel clean after i use it i use this chris 3d white mouthwash like it works i'm not gonna say it makes your teeth white no it doesn't like i want to try oil pulling i hear a lot of people saying oil pulling is good like your girls want to try it okay i use a mouthwash <sighs> i know guys i know i should be using the fair breath mm -hmm. i feel like i want something that's burning my mouth even though probably burning that would that would be a little bit like I want to feel like it's doing something like when I'm using a terabyte like I don't feel like it's getting the job done like to be honest <laughs> but get you a good mouthwash I don't know if we're supposed to move oh. the mouthwash no I'm not sure I use mouthwash so I brush my teeth and then I finish off with the mouthwash so you're supposed to floss brush your teeth then use mouthwash and that's what I not do I don't floss but I do brush my teeth then use my mouthwash just right here and guys i heard that oil pulling is good if any of y'all reach mm -hmm. to this point point of video and you're still watching first off i love y'all but i want to know if any of y'all do oil pulling mm -hmm. and let me know like what <laughs> i don't know what she's around there doing anyways y'all if y'all do oil pulling let me know let me know because wow. i want to know if it works i literally want to invest in it i want to know i want my teeth to be white I'm not gonna say butter because my teeth are not white, y'all. I wear mascara. That's the only thing I wear regarding to makeup is mascara. And I know we all are a victim of the makeup wipes. Not saying they're not convenient when like to have in your bag to be on the go. But you see the micellar water, cleansing water, this right here. Get you some micellar water if you're a makeup wearer. If y'all got dark spots, I mean hyperpigmentation, I highly, highly recommend this product right here. I had like a slight hyperpigmentation under my armpits right here. And when I tell you it got rid of it like this, make sure y'all have some sort of vitamins taken that you know your body's lacking so right here i have the woman's multiple vitamins and y'all i i literally didn't take my vitamins let me take two right now let me <laughs> the gut hair is super important so i have apple cider vinegar and pills i salute you if you drink the raw apple cider vinegar which is more effective than this i salute you because i can't i can't y'all i can't i literally can't that's just nasty y'all know how vinegar smells oh i can't i salute you so i take this it helps with weight loss um immune system cholesterol levels i'm gonna start taking probiotics i should be taking it i'm gonna start taking it if y'all don't know what probiotic is it also helps with gut health but i hope i was at least helpful or y'all learned something or yeah i feel like y'all big sister little sister i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna start calling you guys i don't want to say bestie i feel like that's these too weak like y'all feel like i feel like y'all are my sister like i i could talk to y'all and i don't feel judged like i could just let it go that does conclude my feminine hygiene routine plus helping y'all improve your routine and smell good and feel good 
I think I want to do a girl tip thing because y'all your girl didn't usually look like this and didn't have the confidence she has now but I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm gonna turn it off now I'm gonna see you guys in my next video and if you have reached this far who are the real OGs let me know if y'all are shorter and stayed thus far comment two purple emojis that's how I know y'all stay to the end Bye, y'all. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.